Hey. 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 Uh, welcome to the first installment of the uh, Ask BP video segment. Yeah. Uh, in the future, hopefully, we will not be using microphones for this, but uh, we've had some technical problems. <laughs> I, had to, I, had to make, <laughs> I had to make mention of it. Why? Because I'm, I'm a control freak. About, I'm, I'm David Fincher over here. And I wanted it to be a certain way, and now we're holding microphones, which is not what I'm in. And you're holding yellow, which is my favorite color. We can switch if you want. No, that's it. All right, let's get to the questions, Dave. Uh, okay, so here's what you do. Uh, you send us questions, or send me questions on Twitter at The Pretension. If mm-hmm. you're not on Twitter, you should join. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and you can get your questions. Or if you do like a certain person did, you can send us a video at the email address, which was fun, actually. Yeah. We kind of enjoyed that. But ideally, send them to this device here on Twitter. Uh, so, is that it? Yeah. yeah. First question comes from at Andy Von Harwood. Yeah. And he says, at the pretension, what's the diffs between Guy Madden films and Grindhouse slash Kill Bill? Okay. Uh, here's what I'm saying. All right. Grindhouse and Kill Bill, Quentin Tino is, his the, his use of the aesthetics of a certain genre or era mm-hmm. is kind of the point. Yeah. Um, and that's why I don't think they're very good movies. Uh, it's You sort of get it. And then in, you got two hours in the case of kill bill a lot more right in front of you um whereas guy madden is is he's still telling his story first with his characters or his he's he's, he's uh telling his uh, the emotions he wants to get across and uh he's using the aesthetics of the 1920s and 10 teens silent films for effect mm-hmm. and i think my my reasoning is that i, I feel like uh, tarantino uh, in the case of uh, Death Proof specifically uh, from Grindhouse, is that he wanted to uh, show this genre uh, to like a new generation of fans, and then the film that he produced, I think, would not have appealed to an original Grindhouse audience. I don't think they would have liked it. However, Guy Madden, like if you watch uh, Archangel or, um, oh shoot, now I can't remember, Silence? Hush. Hush, thank you. Movie you're thinking of. Right. Um, if you watch... Uh, those films, you will find uh, that he so commits to the aesthetic, as David was saying, that I think uh, audiences used to German expressionism would have absolutely uh, loved those uh, loved those films. Okay, second question comes from at Paul Goebel Show. All right, it says, uh, "What is your favorite podcast to guest on?" Okay. Um, what have you been on? You've been on a couple. Right. I was on one called uh, The New Devil's Advocate Podcast. Mm-hmm. I was on Colin Marshall's Barely Literate. Okay. Uh, what were we on? We have been on Slash Filmcast right. a couple times. We were on Experts Intermediates. Right. We were on On the Page. Oh, yes. We were on On yeah. the Page, Pilar uh, Alessandra's. Um, I'm going to say Slash Filmcast is probably my favorite. Slash Filmcast was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, that's uh, and we were on an episode recently, so go and, go and check that out. Yeah, thanks at Paul Global Show. Thanks. And uh, finally, we got, this is the video question I was talking about, but she did uh, tweet me as well. Uh, it's at Sakari Singh. And, uh, okay, her question had two points, one of which was, what do we think of cult movies in that whole world? Mm-hmm. And the answer is, we'll do an episode. Yeah, that's not. Uh, <laughs> we can't address that here. We've only got a couple minutes left. Right. Um, we'll do an episode. The other part of her question was, when are we going to have? We just talked about experts and intermediates. Indeed. When are we going to have Jason Eakin back? Uh, to answer that, Jason. Jason, come on over here. Uh, hey guys, how's, how uh, how you guys doing? I just thought I'd uh, stop by. Hi, Scary Rita. Thank you for your question. Uh, I'm right here. Uh, BJ's getting his PhD, so couldn't be with us. Okay. okay, and they already knew that because that episode is already up, but uh, yeah. that was fun. Indeed. Anyway, so yes, uh, tweet your questions to at the pretension on Twitter, and um, you will probably get them answered here uh, in Ask BP. Woo! Cue the music. Is there going to be? Yeah. I think so. All right, then. I don't know. I'm sure. I'm not talking to the mic anymore. Oh, okay. This, thing, this shit is over. Oh, okay, all right.